That's so true. You know, I, I can't remember a time when I didn't know the name Fidel Castro. I mean, I've known that name as long as I, since I've been alive, and it's something that has always been part of my life and my family's life. They fled Cuba, as you mentioned, as political exiles. And th there is this tendency when world leaders die to kind of misplace this romanticism around some world leaders. But Fidel Castro is someone who was a tyrant. He was a killer. He was a liar. And I really never realized how fortunate I was to be born in this country until I did a story that took me to the Florida Straits and I was embedded with the Coast Guard and they were intercepting Cuban rafters and, and Cuban go fast boats that were smuggling in uh, Cuban citizens and I got to see firsthand what it looked like on these boats dozens of families babies in diapers and the best choice that these families had was to put their children on a boat in the middle of the night not knowing what would happen mm. than to live in Cuba and Cuba at a distance may look beautiful, it may look mysterious, it may look nostalgic, but up close it is cracked, it is faded, and the people are hungry, and that should be the legacy of Fidel Castro. There are 